Welcome everybody to Trades Tutor and part two of the Calorific Value series. This one is going to go through natural gas, so let's get started. All right, so first of all, what we need is a starting point. And what we know with natural gas is it's the calorific value is 1,000 BTUs per cubic foot. That's the known calorific value that we have, and that is where we can generate a number of other different calorific values for natural gas, or should I say a number of different ways to state the calorific value of natural gas. So what we can try to find is can we do it in kilowatts per cubic foot? It's still the natural or still natural gas and it's still considered a calorific value, just a different way to say it. So first of all, the cubic feet stay the same. They don't change. So we don't got to worry about that. What we do have to consider is that we're going from BTUs to kilowatts now. And we have to change a thousand BTUs into a certain number of kilowatts. So how do we do that? Well, what we need is the understanding that one kilowatt is 3,412 BTUs. Then what we do is we take the number of BTUs we have and we divide it by the number of BTUs we need to make one kilowatt. And that is 3,412. So by doing that, what we're going to generate is a number of kilowatts. And we get 0.293. So another way to express the calorific value of natural gas, it's 0.293 kilowatts per cubic foot. All right, we'll do another one. We could also express it as kilowatts per cubic meter. Now in this case, the kilowatts stay the same, no problem there. But what we're doing is changing the volume. This is important because we are actually physically changing the volume now. So follow along here. We're going from a cubic foot and filling gas into a cubic foot to filling the same gas into a cubic meter, but not the same amount of gas. We've got to have a lot more because it's a lot bigger. In fact, the info we need is that it's 35.31 times bigger. So the calculation goes like that. If we get 0.293 kilowatts in one cubic foot, and we were to fill up a whole cubic meter with gas, we would get 35.31 times more, or in the end, 10.35, and that would be kilowatts in a cubic meter. You can see how the, the changing from cubic feet to cubic meters, your volume really increases. And what you have to visualize that, even in your head, go cubic foot, cubic meter, which is bigger, which is smaller. All right, and then the, then the last one is going to be the BTUs per cubic meter. So we're not changing the volume there. We're OK on that. But we are changing the way we state the gas. So once again, we go to our info needed. 1 kilowatt is 3,412 BTUs. So we take our number of, let's go down there, we take 10.35 kilowatts, and we're going to have to generate a lot bigger number, so we're going to multiply it by 3,412. And we're going to end up with 35,314 BTUs. All right, now through rounding, what we end up with is that. We go 35,310. So the idea here is that you have to figure or have to visualize what you're, go what you're doing, where, you where you're starting from, where you're going to, and the variables you need. And think about that. Cubic foot to a cubic meter. We're going bigger. Kilowatts to BTUs. We're going to generate a bigger number. And that's the trick to the whole thing. All right, in the next video, um, I'm going to go through propane, the same process. So hopefully you're going to watch that one as well. Thanks for watching. Take care and have yourselves a great day.